just left the nail shop. First of all, the lady who does my nails. Hi, how are you? Uh huh. You lacking a little bit of change. I don't know if I have any change. Let me see what I got. Let's see. Shoot it. I think I spent all my money in the nail shop. I don't have any change left. I'm sorry. All right, I'll pray for you. <clears throat> now, back to my rent. Yeah. So, um, just left the nail shop. First of all, I drive one hour to get to my nail lady. Only because she is the fucking bomb. See, I got my daddy's feet. That ain't no good thing. I get ingrowns. I walk in tall heels, three inches or higher most days. So, I put some wear and tear on my baby, so I try to take care of them. And this lady knows exactly what to do. She does it fast. She does it well. And with a smile on her face. I don't think you can beat that. So. <clears throat> then. I have to talk about. Okay. Well now I'm not finished with my lady. I'm going to tell you why my lady is the best. And how you know she's the best. I got to the nail shop before 1030. And at that point she already had two people. And by the time I sat down. Two more people walked in. And then five minutes later another lady walked in. So she has two in front of me and three after me before 11 o'clock that's customer service that's service period obviously this lady is doing something right so the other little nail ladies in the shop be mad at her you can't be mad do a great job do a phenomenal job like this woman does and hey people will be lined up waiting for you so it's this one older lady she's very mean very nasty where well, i might have let her do my nails one day but she's so damn nasty that that bitch ain't touching me ain't touching nothing on me Please excuse my foul language, if that's what you consider it. Because, you know, some people get offended when you say certain vocabulary words. But, anywho. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. So, then you got this other lady in the shop that's talking to everybody like she's been knowing them for 10 years. Talking loud. And everything she says, she has to say it at the loudest freaking volume. And it ain't like she's some old ghetto lady. She's some old... She's some old super educated ass black lady who might be from the ghetto, probably which I can't say shit, hey, that's me, but, man, she was loud, oh my God, she knew everything about everything, maybe that was a reflection of myself, you know, a self-check or something, I don't know, but it was off the chain, this lady was talking to everybody to the point that when this one girl left, the nail lady started fussing at her, like, you don't know her, you don't know how you talk to her, but like, you know her 10 years, you talk too much, you still talk, you talk too loud, you talk, you talk, they was going off on. It was funny. They was tag teaming. I couldn't number the bust out laughing. I kept on trying to keep my laughter to myself. At this point, I'm sorry, lady. I'm laughing at your motherfucking ass. Because these Vietnamese bitches is straight ripping it on you. Oh, Lord have mercy. I miss rent. I'm finna have to get back into my little rant. We rants. Yeah, I do stupid crazy shit. I say stupid crazy shit. And I do a lot of real smart things too. Like most people be thinking I'm always smart. I beg to differ because I believe if I was as smart as everybody tends to believe that I am, I would be a lot further in life. I mean, sometimes. I mean, that could be the case and cannot be the case because everything happens in divine timing. In due season, which means when it's your turn. It ain't always your turn. I watched a pastor. Uh, some of you may be familiar from, uh, with him. He's from the Nashville, Tennessee area, uh, Mount Zion, Joseph Walker. He had mentioned something of that nature. I think I lost my train of thought. I'm trying to give respect to where I got this information. Um, and I think I'm going to get lost. Hold on. I feel like this girl whose uh, blog I watch sometimes. And sometimes she just random. I don't think that's the way I want to go. I want to go this way. I'm slick hungry. I really want to get some of this food from Tampa. Ooh, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm finna go get me some Jamaican food. Go get me some red pea soup. Yes. I love Jamaican food. And yes, I do have some Jamaican in me. I got a little bit of everything. I'm a summer baby. Some of this, some of that. It seems like I'm constantly learning more and more about my heritage. 
learn about yourself you can know some things now i wonder what the hell i was talking about maybe i need to press pause and rewind and figure it out myself i don't know but i'm hungry and i guess i'm done ranting about this lady and my nail shop experience and i'm probably not doing a good job with the camera i usually don't i have to learn how to do better that's why i keep saying you doing these naughty things Oh, so much work to do. I need to go look at places. I think, you know what? I'm going home and cooking me some fried potatoes and onions and some salmon croquettes. Picking out, bundling up because the temperature's going to drop. Like, who does that? The temperature was 64 degrees when I got up about 5 or 6 o'clock this morning. The temperature was supposed to rise up to 2 degrees more, which is 66 degrees. And then at 11 o'clock, the temperature's supposed to start dropping. What are they doing at it? But at least we're not below zero like the rest of the country. Thank God I'm in Florida, where yesterday it was 80 degrees, and it's going to be 80 degrees again next weekend. Oh, I'm going to the beach. Yes, I am. <laughs> I love Florida. I love Florida. Uh, and I think I'm done signing out. Love, peace, and music. You wonder why I wouldn't say fashion, huh? Mimi Lou. Got looped. <laughs>